Okay, Sabino, you played Gunai today. Yes. Tell us all about the game. Well, it was a hard one. I got an unpleasant position from the opening. I actually was pissed off because I mixed up my preparation early on. So I offered a draw, which I thought was, okay, maybe not a great offer, but at the same time, the position was pretty decent and uh, you never know. So she refused, she, she played on, which was apparently a very good decision because I played uh, a rather big mistake at some point, which led to a terrible position where I've got no counter play and, you know, and really an overall really, really bad position where I don't have anything to hope for. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then I escaped. <laughs> so, so something happened and uh, yep. we got low on time and she couldn't find a way through. And in the end, I was actually playing for a win for like two moves. And then I, I missed a little detail in the game and I figured that, okay, a draw from this starting position was pretty good and yeah. I don't need to push my luck any farther. Yeah. And I annoyed you before the interview when I said that we were expecting you to lose. Yeah, you just shouldn't say that because, <laughs> you know, the game is not over until it's over and you should never expect me to lose, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I keep fighting only... all the time. I yeah, survived so... so many terrible positions that, you know, at yeah. least I have the confidence that right. I'm fighting until the end. Absolutely. So what, you, you said something about if you're only minus yeah, three. Yeah, I mean, uh, up to minus nothing. three, it's not a big deal. I it's mean, it's, it's still a game. <laughs> this is a great quote. Of course, quote. I lose many of them, but... This is a great yeah. quote, which we now have on camera. Of course. I love this very much. <laughs> okay, say something about the team. What do you think about the team's performance? It, yeah, it's a, it's a horrible day, and it could have been even worse than what it looks now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, at some point I was just walking and I thought my position might not even be the worst one. Mm -hmm. And uh, my feeling is that it's probably like a minus three or minus four position that I've got. So yeah, it mm -hmm. could have been really, really bad. We're still probably going to lose uh, yeah. by a huge margin. Mm -hmm. And okay, that's part of the game. We knew that this round was going to be very tricky. Yeah. Um, the girls weren't going to just give up uh, so easily. So. How yeah. about Antoinette's performance since she's made her comeback? Yeah, she came back with two two victories and I felt that it was a little unfair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because uh, it feels like the yeah, our guys just blundered terribly twice against her and yeah, that's a little unpleasant. I've been fighting so hard for my points, yeah. struggling for five and hours, and she just wins in 20 moves when they drop a piece. So <laughs> that's life, Sabina. Yeah, it's very unfair. Okay, let's look at the game. <laughs> okay, Sabina, we're looking at probably the worst position you had in the whole game, because I, I want you to suffer. Um, how did you get out of this? Yeah, it's a completely hopeless position where all of my pieces are worst, you know, worst king, yes. worst rook, worst knight. And the queen isn't too great either. So, yes, this is basically hopeless. Um, she played c5. After the game, she mentioned that maybe queen b3 queen could B3. have been a good idea. Just pressuring yeah. b7 and I have to go passive and c5 and now. Then c5. And compared to the game, white is a little more active. Or mm -hmm. even a little more active. And the plan is to play rook d4 to b4. Nice. And pressure b7. Yeah. And, well, I'm sure I would have come up with some resource to keep playing, but it feels really bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe queen c6. It's really... It is very difficult. Yeah, I mean, even if... Yeah. yeah f7 yeah. is hanging too, you know. Yeah, so I was thinking, yes, yeah, so if your queen comes to here and you need to move the rook, this, this just yeah, falls Yeah, I was thinking ball. I might uh, try and give up the pawn, ho hopefully with yeah. some sort of fighting. Yeah, but you remained optimistic. Yeah, well, of course. There's no okay. need to, to resign. No. Um, and she needs to prove the advantage anyway. So c5, which is a fairly good move. Rook d8, I need my pieces mm -hmm. into the game. Yeah. And she played rook d4, which is very logical. She brings the rook to b4. Mm -hmm. So now I have an interesting decision whether I should play e3 or not. Uh, in the end, I went for this one, mm -hmm. which was, okay, I guess a decent practical try. I'm very unsure what about the move e3, because 
uh, it will lead to very complicated play. Let me just show some ideas. And rook b4 could be a very interesting try. Mm -hmm. Here I have a check. Here, back. And this is quite important because it's mm. rather uncomfortable for white to actually escape from a perpetual check. Because a move like b3 is not really what she's looking for. And then I play rook d7 and hopefully I'm kind of holding. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> it's, it's, sorry, what's wrong with b3? I can't see anything. b3, instantly. right, I think I can play rook d7. Right, and there's no obvious continuation. Well, maybe c6. c6, yeah. Looks... It's very exciting. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but isn't this, there might be some tricks after that. No, I think not, this is not. resignable for it. Okay. I've got an extra piece now. Extra so piece is usually so good, yeah. Any, okay. So you see, it's never hopeless. No, uh, and no. this is actually quite unclear because I have a square on d5. Ah, uh, yes. Two, queen d5. Yes. And the knight could go there. So here yeah. I'm probably okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but there are so not b, definitely not b3. So if we went back there, yeah, yeah it's but tricky, isn't then it? Then how do you how do you play? Yeah. Uh, my concern was if we go back here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oops. That queen g2 might be a try. Okay. Because uh, now I no longer have those checks. Mm -hmm. I guess this makes sense. And king c2. This is not the great square for the king. I mean, it will be safer on a2, but I don't have a resource of queen e6 check. I still have this one. Yeah. And you're hanging on in there. Yeah, I actually say. thought I was losing here. But maybe I'm not. I have a crazy move b5 because of the king on c2, which mm -hmm. is placed in a dangerous position. But I might also play queen e7. Which is ridiculous. Okay. But kind of defense. Strange things happen, you know? Yeah. And maybe I'm okay. <laughs> Which is very, very funny, I think. Okay, yeah. So okay. one so, single can't have move and things get unclear. But anyway, you played yeah, this move. Yeah, the D7, which is a bit more solid. I felt that she was losing the thread somehow. And this must be a very bad position. But the point on B4, I have Queen B3 check. Yeah. And that was probably still the correct direction well, okay. for white. I have to, well, I don't have to, but I was going to trade queens now, yeah. which I think is white. And I've got an ending where I'm still very much worse. Yeah. I was calculating something like this. And keep in mind, we were in time trouble, so this is just okay. throw, throwing moves around, you know. Yeah. But I have some E3 resource, and I might be yeah. entering a pawn down ending, which... You never know. It's not might be eventually yeah. a draw. Okay. Or maybe not. Okay, but instead... Queen, so Queen F4 happened. I was very happy because now I have this beautiful trick. This is what I was hoping for. Mm. And this is actually a very, very important move. I'm centralizing. My hope is that on Queen E4, which was, I guess, the correct move. Uh, Unfortunately, C3 doesn't, doesn't really okay. work. I'm too stuck. The king just runs away. Mm -hmm. But I have rook c5, which is my point, and queen e6, f take e6. Now we've got to assess this position where I have the worst pawn structure. Uh, but you know, they say rook endings are all drawn, and that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so I'm still much worse. Yeah. But at least my king is safe now, and I think I have some decent resources. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, but then she played one more not so critical move, and here I'm actually playing for a win. Because, mm. okay, the safe way would be just rook c5, knight e4, rook c8, just simple position, trading c5 for the bone. Yes. So it's, of course, in my advantage. So I'm, I'm really happy. Instead, so I played play e3, e3, which yeah. is the sharper way. Uh, well, if white doesn't capture, I'm very happy to queen my pawn. So <laughs> I have taken three was played, and rook c5. Now, right. why is this uh, an attempt? Because white is a spoiled mm -hmm. structure. Yeah, okay. So she played knight e4, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I think e4 might be more critical, actually. But practically speaking, she, it was a good move. Because here I played rook c6, which might have been a mistake. Probably was a mistake. I think black is better here. I should have 
But I had one minute on the clock. And okay. It's very hard For to figure out because I have three options suddenly. And when you're losing, you only have one option, basically. The other moves are, you know, leading to resignation. If you have, option, here, if you you have, have options, you're not win. lost. Is that your theory? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> makes no, some kind I mean, of... In order to play for a win, I need to be very accurate here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I played rook c6, and I wasn't happy with it, mm -hmm. uh, which is why I offered the draw. Because uh, right after I played, I realized that this move can be played. And this is what I missed. I thought I was doing great here. Okay, obviously it's not a forced variation, but this is the big point. My knight isn't jumping because some geometrical issues. Mm, so okay. this knight on d6 is very, very strong. So you might still be in a bit of trouble there, if she, but again, she, you're both in time trouble? Yeah, yeah we're both in time trouble. Okay. And this didn't happen, actually. Mm -hmm. she, yeah, she took she my draw off. She took your draw off. Uh, I'm not sure mm -hmm. that I'm in trouble. Okay, uh, look I mean, at position. Again. I just wasn't very happy with it. And mm -hmm. I thought I'm not really playing for a win. And I thought, uh, you know, uh, I already escaped from a terrible position once. Let's not uh, overdo it. Don't push your so, luck, as we say. Right, right. Okay. So Thanks. probably this is a mistake. I think black is worse here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Of course, I don't need to enter here, but it was the critical variation and the one that yeah. convinced me that, okay, it's not my day, you know. Okay. I've done enough. Discretion is the better part of valor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you.